Welcome back. There's a new hotel in Pittsburgh. It's going to be opening soon called the Oaklander. So as you may guess, it's located, of course, in the heart of Oakland. It includes a rooftop lobby, lounge, and restaurant that gives visitors a great view of the neighborhood's historic landmarks. We are busy here in the kitchen with Table Magazine um, featuring this new space in its winter issue table. Editor-in-chief Victoria Bradley is with us today, along with executive chef Jessica Lewis of the Oaklander Spirits and Tales Restaurant. Thanks for having us. I yeah, am so thank happy you. to have you here. It and smells so good in here this it's, morning. It's always great to hear about new restaurants. Yeah. And this isn't just a new restaurant, it's a new hotel as yeah. well. It's be opening soon. And it's going to be, it's so cool. The Oaklander Hotel is 11 stories and the restaurant on the top floor. It has yes. a 360 view of Oakland. We're Amazing. really excited for the opening. It's coming up. And Jessica is in charge. She's the she is the new executive chef of this brand new restaurant. Well, I know. And can we just like give you a little applause here because there are not many female, female executive chefs no. in town, right? No. I'm happy to be here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I moved here five years ago and it's been amazing ever since I moved here. And yeah. I'm excited for this new hotel to open. And so what was it like to develop this menu? If, if you're not from Pittsburgh, kind of like developing the flavors and how you wanted to present this in such a historic neighborhood. Right. So um, actually one of the things I did grow up eating, uh, you see a lot here, pierogies, but um, <laughs> we yeah. love that. Polish, right? Uh, but on the menu, it's going to be French Mediterranean cuisine. It's going to be American French brasserie. So you're going to see a lot of fresh, vibrant flavors, lots of bold flavors. Um, and a lot of fun dishes for you to share with other people. And speaking of bold, right? Tell what us you, what, what's in here right now. What are you making? So I'm making a spicy mussels provencal. Mm -hmm. It's going to have some preserved lemon, harissa is what's going to give that spicy flavor. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a fermented chili paste, some olives, roasted garlic, a little bit of sweetness, some clam juice. Uh, so it's going to be bright and bold and fresh. Don't forget to put that wine in. I got it. <laughs> a little I got it in there. <laughs> um, but one thing too that we really wanted to focus, and we, you know, we at table wanted to feature Jessica, is because she is one of the most sustainable chefs in the city. That's great to hear. So, and and she was teaching me this morning as she was making these, you know, the mussels and the oysters, is that. These are two of the most sustainable foods we can eat, right? Yes. And they're also two of the most healthy foods that we can eat. So yes. new year, new you. Right. Healthy things. I love how we're tying this all I together. <laughs> um, but, but you were telling me this morning that you, so Jessica brought the oyster recycling program to Pittsburgh. You and I mean, is this crazy? That. Yeah. So what is oyster recycling? So while we're oyster recycling, um, and we have a half dozen over here. Mm -hmm. um, we got them from the East Coast. They're Rome points. Uh, and... But oyster recycling is all about bringing the oysters back to the Chesapeake Bay. Um, in the 2000s, Barack Obama issued that the Chesapeake Bay was a national treasure. So uh, I reached out to somebody at the Chesapeake Bay program there, the Oyster Recovery Partnership, and we're actually now returning oyster shells, uh, ones that you're eating off of your plate, back to the ocean. And it's really helping restore the beds. It's an amazing project. This is crazy. Wow. So after we eat all of these oysters, she takes the shells, sends them back to Chesapeake Bay, and new oysters grow. Because they reproduce yes. very quickly, right? Yes. So they grow about an inch in a year. Um, and, you know, oysters aren't so big, as you can see. And it also helps with uh, water filtration. So it's, pro it's providing um, the aquaculture with new oyster shells that we were once throwing in the trash and now taking them back. So Fantastic. cool. So right. I can see why you wanted to feature not only Jessica, really, but yeah. the restaurant and, and the whole And the oysters and the mussels, and also because this is so much like protein for us. Right. So I'm very into this dish. I'm super excited for the new menu. Okay, so what are you adding now, Jessica? So now I'm adding the harissa, which is a spicy chili paste. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make that in-house, buy it in stores, um, but it's going to give that zip of flavor really fresh, uh, roasted, uh, red peppers is the main ingredient in there. Fantastic. Well, tell us a little bit more about you since you're kind of new to town and kind of getting your start here. Sure. Uh, so I, uh, I've i been an athlete kind of my entire life, so I really like to focus on really healthy, fulfilling dishes. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to see a lot of seafood and vegetables. Uh, partnering with local farms is really something that's become my passion. Mm -hmm. And ever since moving here, discovering um, and creating uh, a connection with all the farmers has really been fun for me. Uh, going out to visit the farms and teaching my staff and other people about, you know, why Pittsburgh is so great is really what I love about this whole community. And Victoria, I'm sure that you've noticed from your from your readers and also just from talking with some of the chefs. I think 
benefits people when they're dining out like that connection too to they hear about it. where their food is coming from. They love it. We first met Jessica when she was uh, when she opened Karata Cafe at Smallman Galley. Remember the original right. Smallman yeah. Galley? Yes. She love was it. one of those. And ever since that, we've been following her career because she not only introduces us to where our food comes from, but I learn something every time I, I talk to her about a new way to to uh, to uh, get closer to our food, to recycle our shells, things right. like that. She's bringing really cool things to our city. So you're educating educating the people that are coming to eat too. So fantastic. And Yay. I, what was that that you just added? Uh, I added a little bit of clam juice, and I'm going to finish it off with some black pepper. And it's nice to see the finished product there. And you can see too that all the mussels are popping open in the pot. Right. It's really cool. A well, thank you guys salt. for coming on this Thanks morning. For it's been us. such a pleasure to meet you. And Victoria, as always, thank you. great to have you on. Right, Read more about Spirits and Tales in the new Oaklander Hotel in the winter issue of Table Magazine. Look for it on newsstands and online now, or just stop by and try the food and drink menu for yourself as soon as it opens.